Look, if the plethora of Marvel and DC films aren't enough to soothe your superhero cravings, you might want to see what other countries have to offer. Sure, these movies might not be as technically impressive as the super-powered blockbusters we're used to, but they feature enough culture shock quirks to warrant a watch. Let's take a trip across the globe and see the strangest superhero films released outside the United States. Guardians, Russia. If you thought Guardians of the Galaxy needed less humor and more super ripped bears, you'll be thrilled with 2017's Guardians. This Russian superhero epic looks like a knockoff Marvel film with about a quarter of the budget. There's acrobatic fighting, insane weapons, and gorgeous people doing battle. All the modern superhero hallmarks. But Russia really brings the weird, with Ursus the Werebear. Unlike werewolves, Ursus doesn't have to wait for a full moon to take bear form. He can do it whenever he wants. Or if he'd rather just be a half man, half bear, there's that option too, which leads to the best moment of the trailer. Seeing a man bear fire off a machine gun. The heroic trio, China. When it comes to female superheroes, China has its beat. 1992's The Heroic Trio is about a squad of three superpowered women united to stop a supernatural villain whose main goal is to find a king for China. He's kidnapped 18 male babies and one will become the ruler of the land. The others will be groomed to form an army of killers. The plot may sound a, a little bit odd, but if you want to see flying motorcycles cut in half, or a leather-clad lady riding a dynamite-fueled barrel, your only choice is the heroic trio. Three Supermen and Mad Girl, Turkey. Why settle for one Superman when you can have three? Turkey has made a lot of knockoff superhero movies, but perhaps the strangest is 1973's Three Supermen and Mad Girl. Three low-rent Superman knockoffs fight off an evil foe named Mad Girl for some reason. There's also an old-fashioned, definitely made from a cardboard box robot, who plagues our heroes with his death ray. Will our Superman prevail? Is that actually supposed to be the devil, or just a guy in a mask? Watch all 65 minutes to find out. Zebra Man, Japan If you combined Breaking Bad with Kick-Ass, you'd get 2004's Japanese action comedy Zebra Man. It's about a failed teacher and family man who escapes from his depressing life by secretly dressing up like an unpopular 1970s TV superhero called, you guessed it, Zebra Man. But unlike Kick-Ass, the protagonist of Zebra Man soon learns he actually does have superpowers, so he uses them to defeat alien-possessed baddies set on conquering Earth. Ra 1, India it looks like some kind of Indian Iron Man, but 2010's Ra 1 is not a blatant Marvel copy. It's more like a Tron Iron Man mashup. A programmer creates a video game with a very powerful villain named Ra 1. Unfortunately, the villain escapes the game and enters the real world, so the game's creator must transform into a hero named G1 to defeat him. Chakra, the Invincible, India. Did you know, Marvel legend Stan Lee also created an Indian superhero. Chakra the Invincible is Lee's first venture outside the US, and so far, the hero has an animated film for Cartoon Network India and a live-action version in development. The story is about Raju Rai, a young kid who tries on a blue bodysuit that gives him spiritually derived superpowers that turn him into Chakra the Invincible, protector of Mumbai. The Return of Captain Invincible, Australia the plot of 1983's Australian superhero parody, The Return of Captain Invincible, is unusual to say the least. Alan Arkin's Captain Invincible is America's go-to superhero during World War II, but during the McCarthy trials, he's ruled a danger to the country and no longer allowed to fight crime. Cut to the 80s, when a villain played by Christopher Lee gets control of a hypno-ray that causes people to laugh uncontrollably. The US must find Captain Invincible, who's now a terrible drunk hiding out in Australia. Also, it's a musical. Where angels fear to tread, I say, choose your bows, let's hit the red eye! Mr. and Mrs. Incredible, Hong Kong. 2011's Hong Kong action comedy Mr. and Mrs. Incredible is about a retired husband and wife crime-fighting duo who have to deal with the issues of a normal life. Are they inspired by The Incredibles, Pixar's 2004 film about a retired superhero family? 
Probably, but the folks at Pixar haven't sued anybody over it yet. Maybe they're fans. Unlike the family favorite, the Hong Kong version partly revolves around the husband losing interest in sex with his wife until a new hot lady comes to town. But husband Gazer Warrior who shoots lighting from his eyes and wife Aroma Woman who puts men into a trance with her alluring odor end up rekindling the spark in their marriage all while wrangling their giant goldfish. Rendal, Finland. Perhaps the most conventional film on the list, Finland's Rendal is about Punisher-like figure looking to take down a criminal organization that murdered his family. Not much is known about the Nordic nation's first masked vigilante, but the trailer for the Indiegogo financed flick due out in the fall of 2017 hints at a dark, slick dystopian tale with production values that belie its humble origin. We do know for certain it's the only superhero movie with official promotional condoms. Huh, your move, Deadpool 2. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.